Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk briefly about how to use tags in Asana. Tags is a nice little feature, uh, generally get a lot of questions about tags, when to use them, what are they best used for, so I want to explain that today. If you have any questions about uh, anything to do with tags or anything to do with Asana, in fact, please feel free to leave me a comment below this video, and if you need more one-on-one -on -one support with Asana, feel free to reach out to me and uh, we can talk about one-on-one uh, -on -one consulting options as well. So, let's get into this video. First of all, let's talk about what are tags. At a very basic level, tags are basically a way of grouping tasks together. You could either group tasks from within one project together, so you're kind of segmenting tasks uh, in, in, into a tag. The other scenario might be where you're grouping tasks from different projects in one place. So let me give you a couple of examples of that. So here we are, we're in my content calendar. This is the project I use for planning what content I'm going to be publishing. And you can see this uh, video that I'm working on right now, how to use tags, has the tag YouTube video. So I use tags in this project to basically highlight what is the format of this piece of content. This is a video. Down here I have another piece of content which is a blog post and it's a podcast. And this is a unique feature of tags is that you can apply more than one tag to any given task. And so within this project I'm basically grouping or the content based on the format. So if I wanted to, let's uh, let's click on this this email that I'm planning on sending. If I click on this email tag, I can now see all of the emails that I'm planning on sending. Everything within this project has been grouped by this tag. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario is where you can use tags to group tasks from different projects in one place. So if I go to this business project, I have a task here and it has an urgent tag on it. And then if I go to another project, uh, like products, I have another task with the same tag, scrolling down, called urgent as well. So I could actually click on that tag, and now I can see all of the tasks from all of the different projects with that tag. So in this second scenario, tags are being used to group tasks from different projects into one place. And so using an urgent tag uh, is a really uh, a nice example of pulling all of your more important tasks into one place. Something I've been doing with clients recently is actually using a meetings tag. So let's say I have, I'm have i planning a weekly meeting. I could actually uh, apply the tag meeting. Actually, let's create a new one. There we go. I'm going to give it a color. Let's give it blue. And let's just set up another one as well. Oh, let's just pick this one. And we're going to go meeting. And so now a great way of running meetings is to literally every single week click on that tag. Come on. There we go. In fact, I might favorite it. I'll click this star up here. Uh, if I expand that, you can click the star there. It, it adds it to my favorites on the left. And every week I can click on that favorite and I can view everything tagged with meeting. And then for the meeting, we just discuss the tasks that I've tagged. And then throughout the meeting, as we, as we talk about them, you simply remove the tag after that item has been discussed to just kind of show that you know, you're ready to move on to the next thing. So that's another nice another little example of tags in use. I'll show you something else that I'm doing in uh, Asana, which is I have uh, tags for the amount of time that I expect a task to take. So I've got 5, 15, 30 minutes, 1 hour, and 2 hours. And you can actually see I'm using a, a traffic light system to show on the left here how long I think tasks will take. And this is just something I do so that when I'm looking at my tasks here, I can kind of scan through. If I look at what I've got coming up tomorrow, I can see just based on the colors, like how many big versus small tasks I've got. If I see lots of red, I know I've got lots of big tasks to be working on. Um, whereas if I've got lots of green, I know that, okay, I'm doing lots of little um, quick tasks. So next week, next uh, end of next week, I've got a lot of hour, hour long calls and things like that. And again, it's nice to just be able to click on that tag and view all of my calls in one place as well. Okay, now let me go back to my content project. I finally want to just discuss briefly tags versus custom fields. Because if you're a premium user, you've got the ability to use custom fields to basically track tasks in different ways. So in my content calendar, I have a status field for basically showing the status of the post. Another example might be to have a field called priority, where you have high, medium, and low priorities. Now, you would generally use a custom field when you only want to make one choice at a time. So for statuses and priorities, you only want to select one priority at a time. If you had a priority tags and you tagged something with medium and you wanted to actually change it to a high priority item, you technically have to remove the medium tag and then apply the high priority one to, for, for, the ta for the task to make sense. So it makes sense for priorities and statuses and things like that to just use a drop down menu where you can really only pick one um, option at a time. Whereas tags, as we saw in this example, are really useful when you want to apply multiple groupings 
at once. So for example, I'm highlighting this as a blog post and a podcast. I couldn't do this if I was using custom fields, but with tags, I can basically apply multiple tags and show that, yep, this is a blog post, uh, a blog post this is a podcast. So um, it's it worth, it's worth uh, kind of thinking and, and just maybe even experimenting a little bit with tags versus custom fields. Certain, depending on how you're tracking the tasks, will you'll generally find you'll you'll lean one way or the other based on kind of what what it is that you're tracking. So there you are. That is a brief introduction to tags. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.